Welcome back. You are still live with Expresso. 15 minutes left to save and we're going to do it in style, helping you guys take the perfect picture of the blood moon. It sounds very ominous, but it's a wonderful celestial happening that we're going to get into right now. So yes, we're going to have an incredible blood moon on Sunday and Grant is going to help us take the perfect photo of it with our phones because it didn't happen if it ain't on the gram, my friend. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, buddy, this is like a big day for us. This, the spot in studio is special. Yeah. Come here, boy. <laughs> Good <is> boy. <laughs> I want to call him a boy, but he could be a girl or it. Hello, Spot. How it's are you? It's a day. It's a day. No, sit. Good Let them boy. Sit. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's so lovely. Oh, man. Are we, al are we allowed to keep it? No, definitely not. <laughs> All right. I wish. Can we keep it? No. <laughs> I'm going I'm to throw a ball for you. It's a digital ball. Go, Spot. Good dog. Oh. He can't be fooled. I know. He's just too <laughs> clever. And he's looking at me right in my eyes. That is amazing. I think he's trying to record a TikTok video. <laughs> he's not going anywhere. So Spot is probably the coolest thing I've seen up close and personal in the tech front. We're now going to see something that we don't get to see very often on the biggest scale possible, i.e. a blood moon. We love these sorts of occurrences that happen in the celestial bodies and we now have the technology to be able to get closer than ever before in the palm of our and yeah, so the blood moon is not anything too, it's not superstitious, it's literally just the shadow, it's, it's an eclipse, it's, a, it's the shadow of the earth on the moon, uh, and in, in, it's done in such a way that the earth the, refracts the, out the blue light, so it looks red, looks really scary, and it's a great time to take a photo of the moon, because the moon will appear slightly bigger, mm. so it's really, really cool, and a lot of people don't know this, but you can take really amazing photos of the moon with your phone. But there is a way you go about doing that, so a few easy hacks to get the most out of taking a photo of something like this. Okay. Why do we, we start? The first thing I recommend is get a tripod. If you've got a tripod, this is okay. a super cheap one. I've just put it on a stand like this, and it means that you can keep your phone steady. The further you take your photo away from the from the moon or from stars, the bigger that shake. The is bigger gonna that be. shake okay. is going to be. Um, so I'm actually going to. Uh, if you've got the second tip is if you've got a if you've got a new flagship phone. This is the S22 Ultra. It's got um, like a hundred times zoom. Yeah. That's great because the AI on these new phones that have come out has a really cool way of like putting all uh, the footage together which is really nice um, and then the third thing is uh, use a piece of software like Lightroom on your phone so that you can pull out the shadows so you can make sure that uh, the craters on the moon look good so I'm actually gonna quickly demo Please. Yeah, what it's like and I've got Lucian in the back uh, he's uh, oh, he, do I need to there we go oh, there we there go we, he's, gonna, he's he's doing it uh, far away so here's my phone uh, other part of the the whole moon. As you can see, I'm just going to rack hands. up the different zooms. Um, and uh, I want, obviously, it's a phone, so um, it's um, going to be a little there bit shiny. You can see how the I'm actually going to go all the way in. What? So let's go, let's just fill this whole frame. Lucian, you've got to keep that phone as steady as possible. Hey? Need, can someone put a Lucian on a tripod? So I've just taken a photo, so uh, with the tripod, there we go, there, I'll take that photo. So now what's gonna happen is the AI on the phone is gonna be able to, um, fill, in the to fill in the blanks and make it look as clear as possible. Look at that, that, ooh, that, the, ooh let me go back. Oh, that was, look at that. That's a photograph of a picture of the moon that's something like five meters away on a tiny phone. Um, and wow. I can zoom into that. Uh, and here's the other one that we took. And you can see all the craters. That's just literally a picture. Just, I was going to say, isn't that the joy of the moon, of having one of these celestial bodies so close, is that you can pick up the detail. Exactly. And a lot of this previously used to be quite an expensive process. And now our phones can do it pretty well. Uh, but you just got to know what you can do. Now, if you want to pull out the shadows and make the craters look a little bit cooler, use Lightroom and... Uh, and how voila. does Lightroom do that in terms of how the app operates? Why can't you do it on your normal phone? Because what... Well, I mean, you, you technically could do it in the gallery. Because you don't know enough. Uh, yeah, well, so, no, I definitely... I mean, I don't know enough uh, to be able to do so that. The, mean, the, one doesn't So the way enough, to do yeah. it is to go to your... Um, here we go. These are the, the filters and, this, and, the, and the, the brightness sections. You usually go to your exposure and your, your shadows. 
the highlights and shadows, uh, then I can bring up the shadows or go. decrease the shadows. Can you see how the, the craters are popping out as I bring down the shadows? And I can even decrease some of the highlights if they're blown out, if the moon is too bright for your phone. And that's already a little bit better uh, than it was. Yeah, let's see what the AI does. So the AI can also like work out what you're taking your photo. Wow. The AI oh, did a very good they job. They did a great job. So yeah. And we did that all in studio, and you can do that on Sunday night. Which so just is... get yourself a cheapy tripod if you don't have one already. But I think if you are a digital creator and wanting to take these kind of you know scaled photographs, getting a tripod is something an investment that is never going to. I bet you can even use a hurt. selfie stick. Anything that can yeah. stay. Or if you don't have a tripod, prop it up on a. a, a ooh, you can even use a toilet paper roll and just cut a, a, a slot in it and stick your phone into the slot, and it will work just as well. Look at you. Or if you can, you can buy a robot dog and the robot dog can carry the phone and take photos of the moon as well. Buddy, that's beautiful. Of course, the Black Moon is coming this weekend. Let's find out a little bit more.